so you guys know every single year I do the budget beast for you guys early on in the year to help set up the no money spend players. And there are a lot of good cards you can get under 50k. I'm going to have some cards closer to that 50k mark. I'm going to have some guys under that 25k mark for the super, super budget beast demons out there. But today we are going to be taking a look at why this is a little bit more harder this year. You can see they split the markets into five. So it's a little bit tough to get snipes because you can see there are less cards going to be on every system, especially I feel like if you play the older gens, it might be a little bit tough because there might be less people over there, even maybe PC. This is probably the two easier ones, but yeah, the prices are definitely going to vary in this video. Just for any of you guys wondering, you can see why there are five different markets now. The first budget beast I wanted to start this video off with today is going to be this 80 headliners Derek Stingley. And there's only five up right now. I know on Mutt.gg it shows him going up for around 15k a piece, which I think is a perfect deal. I think he is the best budget corner option you can get in the game right now. His ability built onto him isn't very good, so I probably wouldn't waste AP on it. But if you're not money spent, you're probably not using AP anywhere else. But for 15k around there, you are getting a Derek Stingley with 85 speed. So you guys know 86 is the highest in the game currently 85 speed on a car that you can get right off the gate is absolutely amazing he does have low low zone coverage but i think for any man player you could definitely throw this guy out there i also think with the low zone i would probably only play him in a flat route maybe i think that's the only way i would do it i currently use him as a blitzer if i am going in dollar i know dollars nowhere near as good as this year as it was last year so i'm not really in it as much but if i am in it stingley is a blitzing corner because of that really good speed so he could even fit into the pretty good teams out there in the game I think Stingley's a guy that everybody should have. And like I said, when you look at the markets right now, the corner and the wide receiver are absolutely, absolutely ridiculous when it comes to prices. So this guy definitely fits in the market perfectly. Moving over to one of the higher tier cards I have on this list, we are going to be looking at the running back. And I know a lot of people have DeAndre Swift. I played with that card yesterday, and I did not like DeAndre Swift at all. I don't know if you guys are enjoying him, the free one from the field pass. But Khalil Herbert, if you are looking for an upgrade, you want to splurge a little bit, you can also get some of these 84s from the house rules for free. You can get the 84s, I believe, also from the field pass. I think you can get two from there. So a lot of these 84s are kind of free as well if you grind. So looking at him, though, I think he's the best budget beast running back under 50K. You are getting an 84 speed, 5'9", 212 elusive back. He does have a big build for being 5'9", but the one thing is, is they actually kept his good juke animation despite him being bigger in game. He also does have 88 carrying, which is absurd for an 84 overall. He shouldn't fumble early on. I think that's higher than almost every hit power in the game as well. He does have, obviously, really solid break tackle. The other stats... Kind of meh. Everybody has bad catching in this game besides like two or three running backs. So Khalil Herbert, he fits in perfectly in this game. He also has Energizer. He's going to stay on the field for you early too, which is nice. All right, boys. So my next budget beast, he's currently not on the market. I truly feel like this market stuff is kind of hurting because there's barely any cards up for when I look for people. That It's day one. I feel like this should be flooded. But when you split the market into five, it's going to be definitely tough to find some certain cards. But I do have a picture for you guys. He is going for around 20K. Greg Zerline. I know it's a kicker. I know it's boring. I think kickers can definitely win you games. He has the highest kick power in the game. He is tied for the highest kick power in the game. I know people look at overalls. Tucker has an 84 kick power. Kick power is the only thing that matters. None of this other stuff matters. As long as you have good user and you can hit it directly, that's all that matters. We're not getting abilities either. 86 kick power is the highest you can get right now. And this card is sitting around 20K. I had to come over here to mud.gg because the one I was just looking at, you can see sold two minutes ago right when I was trying to record over it. But, you know, Greg Zerline, I know it's a boring pick, but kickers always can win you games. And I had to include him here. So now we're moving up to a little bit of a higher tier corner. He's actually, I think, the cheapest 84 as well. So if you're going for a free card, I would definitely elect to probably buy JC Horn and then use the free card on maybe one of the other 84s we have in this video. But JC Horn sitting around uh, 35K is one of the better corners you can get to. Another guy that doesn't really come with the craziest abilities, I think that's called Outmatched, which obviously just a waste of ability but nobody really gets good abilities lower on but jc horn actually is very good six foot one so a good build he has 85 speed 86 excel you're getting 84 zone coverage so if you're a zone player like myself that is amazing for us the play rex even above an 81 right there too jc horn is a perfect card to splurge on if you're looking for that cornerback one if you didn't take sauce gardner i have sauce so i've been running him i have jc horn and i also just got the, the team builder. He's expensive. Obviously, he doesn't fit into this video, but I splurged on that guy. But JC Horn's still playing on the team because this is a very good card, and he so happens to be 35K. I think this card can fit on almost every team in the game, no matter if you have a God Squad, you're a budget team, or even if you're a brand new account. 
So I actually have another card right here that is not on the market as well. And he's actually our only card under 80 overall. The only non-elite on the video is going to be this rookie Chase Brown. And like I said, I didn't really enjoy the DeAndre Swift earlier in the year or that free card that I got to use for only like one game. So I can't really talk too much on the DeAndre Swift. But this Chase Brown, I do think you can play if you want two running backs in your system. He does have 86 speed. And as you can see right here, 86 speed is the only, uh, there's only one other card in the game that has it, and it's the 700k Tyree kill. So that's very, very nice in the game, man. Chase Brown is absolutely elite. He is a little bit expensive for his price. You can see 20k, 19k, and there's a reason why he's going for that. You guys got to remember, game recognizes game all the time. People know this card is valuable. The second or tied for the highest speed in the game is a 78 overall. If you pull this card, please do not quick sell it. Please don't put it into a set. Chase Brown, if you were in any double backfield, is elite, man. This card's elite. Get him in the open field. It doesn't matter what else the stats are. Get him in open field. That speed's going to take off. So moving back into that 84 range, and like I mentioned earlier, you can get a lot of these guys for free. So I, Canaries Tony, obviously under our 50K budget range we set for this video too, he fits in perfectly in a lot of these headliners cards do. They're very good for their overalls. Canarius has 85 speed right here, and he's also sitting around 80 plus in almost every stat. He's only missing two of them, which is the catch and traffic and... There is Tony's not really known for catching traffic and also the medium route running. But other than that, he does look like a very good card. And I've also, he's my, I, technically, I think he's considered the worst wide receiver on my team right now. But he's been one of the best when it comes to actual playing on the field. I also have him at kick return or two. I don't, I think that ability is called second win, which is another ability, just whatever, right? It's just another one of those abilities that no one really, you know, it's whatever out there early on in the year. But Canary's Tony, man, when the wide receiver market is expensive, it is, is Tyree Kill sitting at 700K. Jay Jet is like 550. I know uh, Jamar Chase and other elite guys like 500 right now. If you did not get the Jay Jettis AKA card, Kadarius and all these other guys, man, I have one more wide receiver on this list are definitely some options you might be want to looking at. So speaking about another wide receiver, and I know there's only two up right now, but when you go look at Mud.GG, he's consistently throughout the night been selling for around 35 to 45K. Marquise Brown, Remember, this is the most inflated market in the game. It is by far the wide receiver market is by far the most inflated. His coin card is going for 55, but just remember, you're going to have to keep refreshing, and obviously, it's different on every market as well. But Marquise is another guy a little bit worse than Kadarius Tony, but another guy you could put on the opposite side of him. You could also use that free Odell, so you could have these three as your wide receivers. Obviously, pretty short in the game, but cards that are going to have good speed for you. He has 85 speed out here, 81 deep, but other than that, it's kind of lackluster. But when when you when I, when I was asking my chat yesterday because I didn't want to spend too much on wide receiver because like I said the market is ridiculous even like the very average guys like love Amari Cooper and all of them but he's like 100k right now in the game when you're looking at the guys under 50 or around that range Marquise fits in perfectly and even the chat knew they were all recommending me this card he's definitely a budget demon it's crazy to say that an 80 under 50k is a budget demon but that's how this wide receiver market is so I actually have a tight end for you guys here as well. Irv Smith, five items only up right now, but he is, a, I think, the best tight end when we look under 50K range. I know Hawkinson was like 40K at a moment. He's up to 100. The market definitely skyrised over the night. From when I went to bed, it definitely went up. But Irv Smith, I'm going to click on the more expensive one because why not? But sitting around 20 to 25K, another guy just like our guy Stingley we mentioned earlier, he's supposed to be around 15, or that's what he was last night. But when we look at him, 84 speed, you are six foot two. I personally like my tight ends not being too absolutely tall. Like, I love Kittle right now in the game. I think that range, they run routes a little bit better. They run kind of more like wide receivers. That's how I particularly like it. But when you look at it, he has 80 plus in all of his catching. His short earning is at 74, which isn't the best. But for the price you're paying and the overall you're getting, he's a guy that you could fit in. And also, tight ends a position I know a lot of people like to have depth at. A guy that fits in perfectly at two or three. He's actually sitting at one of my depth pieces right now. So when my tight end gets tired, but Irv Smith is definitely a good budget beast in this game. Our last budget beast of the video has got to be my guy, Obo. You guys know I am a Browns fan. I think this card is one of the best pass rushers, though, when you look at the actual bu uh, budget beast in the game. I All I did was to look at this, right? I went to Mutt.gg. I filtered 50K and under, and I was just trying to find the most balanced pass rusher. And you can see, I think the one stat I was looking for the most was to have a good block shed while maintaining good speed and a good body build. He is a six foot two. 250 pounds, which isn't the biggest in the world, but it's still a good build. He has a thicker build in game. Pause, 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 pause. But he does have 80 speed, 84 excel, 82 block shit, 84 finesse. Another one of those guys you can get for free out there. Oboe is definitely a beast. I think this is one that a lot of people are going to probably have on their team as well. 
I'm going to be honest with you. He's on my team, and I still don't even know how to pronounce his name. I know his nickname is Obo because all the announcers say it. But he's new addition. He looks good, man. This card's played well for me. He actually is playing on my D-line right now. Definitely a budget beast in this game. And our last one of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below if I missed any cards. I love hearing that you guys are running right now as your no money spent teams, or even if you have budget beasts in certain positions, make sure to comment them down below. We're going to have more videos coming out later today after the stream. Come check out the Twitch stream. We are live every single day. But other than that, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, man.